हाय क्या हाल है दोस्तों आपको क्या लगा काउंट डाउन हो रहा था काउंट डाउन हो रहा था पीस का पीस टू ऑल ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी वन यू ज्वाइनिंग अस ऑन फोर ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स साढ़े सात का हमने इश्तेहार डाला था और भाई आज साढ़े सात क्या साढ़े सात से पहले यहाँ पे गाड़ी हमारी शुरू हो गई है um because you know everyone is so excited it's it's time for a huge tournament if if any of you have been following us uh, from the time we started 420 grams uh, when we started going video when our brother siddhant got the good people at news click on board um then the first real big tournament that they uh, we decided to do on video and you know in the confines of a proper studio it was at the asian cup that india was playing the senior men's indian team was playing एंड यू नो वहाँ से हमारी गाड़ी शुरू हुई है वीव कम अ लॉन्ग वे तब से शोज करे जा रहे हैं हाउ एवर इराटिक वी माइट बी एंड सम हाउ फील्स लाइक अ फुल सर्कल बिकॉज स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द ट्वेंटी ऑफ दिस मंथ इज अनदर एशियन कप एन एशियन कप दैट इंडिया इज होस्टिंग दिस टाइम एन एशियन कप वेद विमेन्स टीम इज प्लेंग इन इट बिकॉज द विमेन्स एशियन कप एंड हैव अ गुड चांस of qualifying for the knockout so at least that's what people are saying that's what the sense you're getting from a lot of people who've been involved with this team and the building of this team and i've been watching it from the sidelines uh, my name is arjun today we're joined by um, sidhant ani who's wearing his uh, most multicultural a uh, multicolor um what is this bhai pink or purple ye bata do aap pehle kya hai ye sir sab sab mom aaya hai bhai oh theek hai bhai hum violet bolayenge use violet uh violet vastra pehen ke hamare bhai aaye hain aaj unhone coach saab pe kuch chhanbeen kari hai coach saab being thomas thomas denby a uh, swedish coach who's been around the women's game for a long time and he's coached some really big teams uh, in women's football and he seems to be having a good influence on this team calming influence experience because this team is a mix of young and old uh, but whether you're old or whether you're young neither of these players have played at this level so you'll need that calming influence throughout the tournament we're also joined by uh, webhav ragunandan because if there is one person in our 420 crew and uh, let's be honest we haven't been following uh, women's football regularly but there is one person who's been doing it uh, whether it's local level football or the international team it's webhav ragunandan um he's been following it for a number of years now so he can lend a lot of perspective experience and what's gone into the building of this team and uh, at about uh, about half an hour from now sharda ogra will also be joining us um who will tell us a bit more about the opponents that india is playing especially the first one on the 20th that is iran who have qualified for the tournament their first maiden appearance in this tournament but uh, whatever you're hearing from people is don't take them lightly um they beat jordan in penalties to get to the tournament so uh, it seems like a cracker of a game on the 20th india versus iran uh, good to see the two of you gentlemen uh, webhav we'll start with you bhai because you are the senior on this chat when it comes to the subject of women's football what can we expect Th- thanks, for, sir, thanks for me uh, thanks for giving me the memo about the multicolored sweaters by the way i have worn my most colorful one no no to ek ek balanced banda hona chahiye na bhai that agar hamara hamare color ko highlight karna hai to ek banda to kali poshak mein aayega taki hum highlight honge yahan pe this was the plan <laughs> but but, uh, but the the major before we get into you know team kaise khel rahi hai kaise khelti hai kiske khilaf khelegi the biggest takeaway that people are saying from this tournament is from an indian perspective is that you have a chance to qualify for the world cup yeah could you tell us exactly what is the structure how do you move out who stands a chance and how do you move ahead in this tournament so it's very simple i mean uh, there's five, the afc gets five slots they've expanded the world cup to 32 teams and it's being hosted in australia and new zealand next year hmm. so the afc gets five slots plus one which is the host right um in this case australia so if australia gets through to the semis which everyone expects them to in which case the three semi finalists remaining qualify directly for the world cup and there are four quarter finalists who will then play each other i mean basically mm-hmm. the loser quarter finalists will end up playing each other and the two winners will qualify for the world cup the oh, two achha. losers will enter yeah the two losers will enter an intercontinental playoff tournament that is supposed to happen early next year All right and that's a multi confederation tournament just means it three teams will be uh, selected for the world cup that's a very that's that's a very tough situation usme, usme do do finalists ho gayi par teesra kaun se kaise aap loge usme no it's going to be divided into three groups and the group winners will Achha, go to the world okay, cup okay group winners okay 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 yeah hmm. yeah if australia don't reach the semi finals then it gets like more complex because then the other three teams basically then four teams 
qualify for the World Cup directly, the four semi-finalists. Australia have gotten knocked out in the quarters. The other three losing quarter-finalists will play each other and the winner will get the fifth spot. Hmm. Okay. Right? Okay. And uh, then it comes to, of course, this is not going to happen. So I feel like we shouldn't even discuss it. Like Australia get get knocked out in the group stage. That's not going to happen. But if it does, then it's like a full repercharge, like wrestling type. Yeah, now they go Siddhant's face. Very very muskan I hear because I have repercharge. Bol diya, dekho. Hmm. <laughs> so it's like a wrestling repercharge where the, all the quarterfinalists, the losing quarterfinalists, will play each other. There will be a little mini tournament of sorts, and then two winners will get out of there into the World Cup, and the others will, uh, and there'll be one person who will go. Bhai, bhai, ye, ye jo, ye jo ka tigda lagaya hai inhone is party um, ki paanch yahan se qualify karenge. So get a number of teams to qualify from this tournament. Uh, is it also because of the situation that's happening in the world ki itna COVID chal raha hai? कि एक टूर्नामेंट से आप निकाल लो नहीं क्योंकि यू कांट कीप ऑन एक्सपेक्टिंग कि आगे क्वालिफाइंग्स होंगे वो नो 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 नहीं होंगे तो फिर सो एक्चुअली लाइक इन विमेंस फुटबॉल एशिया हैज लाइक इज बेटर देन इन मेंस फुटबॉल हमें ज्यादा सीट्स मिलता है हमें ज्यादा भाव भी मिलता है क्योंकि हमारे पास वर्ल्ड चैंपियंस है वन टाइम वर्ल्ड चैंपियन जापान हैव वन द विमेंस वर्ल्ड कप इन 2011 सो वी एक्चुअली हैव लाइक अ बेटर स्टैंडिंग इन द वर्ल्ड वी गेट मोर सीट्स देन द साउथ अमेरिकंस द मोर सीट्स देन द अफ्रीकंस ऑफ कोर्स एंड ओशियनिया गेट्स वन so that's why and they've expanded the tournament from 24 teams to 32 so that's why to fill that eight team gap they gave more seats this time and that's why but, but bhai if if australia if australia is hosting don't they already automatically qualify exactly exactly that's why they automatically qualify that's why at all points of time australia are basically the base of like who will qualify who won't qualify essentially if four teams make the semis or one of them is australia to australia bahar ho gayi teen team hmm. qualify kar gaye world cup ke liye the quarter finalists play each other and unme se do team hi nikal jati hain world cup ke liye ho oh, ye yeah, badi zabardast match aapne thok di bhai at the start of the show only sir ke upar gaya hai kuch saman uh, but moti moti baat ye hai ki panch yahan pe teamon ko mauka milega and that's huge right. panch teamon ko mauka milega yeah. and, and but even before that i think it's even more complex simply because uh, i don't mean to be like very negative but we have two very strong teams in our group which is china hmm. and chinese taipei of course we've held chinese taipei to a draw in a friendly earlier this year but let's just assume that they are a higher ranked team so they're going to be better than us i think we beat them once not... earlier this year no in the month yeah yeah in a friendly i think i think we beat them in that game or was it a draw you're saying i'm saying it's a draw yeah so i'm saying we beat them uh, in the chat please Maybe. tell us so, who's okay. right and wrong okay <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <laughs> Yeah. So, I but I mean, again, I'm just going on rankings. I'm not going on past results and all. Like the rankings suggest that Chinese Taipei are better, so they're going to be yeah, the yeah. second, and China are going to be number one. So in which case, we have to become the. Oh, there'll be two best third place teams will go through, and I, again on a limb, I'm going to say that the group, the group B, has a very strong group, which has Thailand also in it. So I think they will end up. having one definite uh, strong third place team and we could be the other ones if we can negotiate iran first and just get them out of the way by, by the way uh, the 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 consensus has come in on the chat uh, it's one nil india beat them okay fine um, so i'm wrong and, i'm sorry about and, that and, and, well and done, ayush maybe. ayush is saying that weber was looking like terence lewis <laughs> whoa <laughs> I got to say they are like since the last time I've come on this chat the comments have evolved yeah people are calling me yeah. Terence Lewis <laughs> from, from so Marxism we've come to Terence Lewis bhai Marxism <laughs> se dance india dance pe aage see that see that pata see that but but what's the is there a, a, you were telling me before the chat there's a prize money yeah yes for the first time the AFC has decided to give prize money to the top 4 teams only okay um It's a pretty decent pot. Also, they're going to give the winners one million US dollars. The the guys who finish second five hundred thousand, and the two semi finalists hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And this is a big deal because it's never happened. And of course, they gave a lot of money at the Asian Cup for the men. Uh, every team that participates or qualifies for the Asian Cup gets two hundred thousand dollars. So yeah, I mean it's a big deal for women's football, but again, like is I have that big money, big money in women's football for you? I think it's wrongly allocated. Like I don't think this money should be given in this manner simply because uh, again, this is 
all of this is obviously conjecture at a certain level because i'm predicting essentially the result of this tournament okay but i'm going to say the top four teams are going to be japan australia korea and china and these mm-hmm. four teams have really good uh, women's football investment they have really good grassroots systems they don't need this money the teams that the countries that actually need this money are countries like the philippines countries like vietnam indonesia um, iran why not you know i mean again i'm going to keep india out of this conversation because we also have a lot of money but wo hum dalte nahi hai wo baat alag hai so mm-hmm. i think it's just going to increase the gap between the top 4 and the others and it's going to make for a lopsided continental tournament in the years to come point but bhai i'm just saying if you're holding a tournament um you you don't you don't say ki we'll give the top 4 the money predicting ki in charon ko jayega aap to kahoge ki jo char merit pe pahunchenge us tournament mein uh uske balbute pe janab aapko hum ye reward de rahe hain and uh, agree. the first time they're doing but again that, saying, 100% 100% i hmm. agree with that also that yeah i'm saying i'm predicting this by saying that the top 4 teams who are ranked and have other riches are going to get this spot but maybe they won't i i mean i sincerely hope that one of the underdogs can make it and mm-hmm. i mean why not let's make it india can make it to the top 4 yeah and we can get that yeah. money but i think i mean i think we can all also agree at a certain level that maybe this money whatever it is like this 180000 1.8 million uh, dollars if they spread it out among all the teams i feel like maybe it would have been slightly better for the development of women's football across the continent Hmm. perhaps give more money to the teams that finish at the bottom of these groups so that they can build better teams invest in better grassroots systems like the women's champions think, league in europe for example uh, they're doing uh, this this exactly how, how are they doing this how they do? of, so they do something called solidarity payments and again they've just started it this season where instead hmm. of giving money just prize money to the teams that finished top and like the teams are participating they are giving money to the teams that don't qualify for the actual tournament like you know like the qualifiers that happen for the champions league just like they happen mm. in the men's game also so mm. they give money to those teams so that they can build better grassroots structures invest more in women's football and basically climb up this ladder that's all and yeah, that's and the more teams you have the more competitive it is absolutely yeah and the more competitive it is the more you want to watch like that's the biggest criticism yeah. we have of women's football at any point of time that's actually the criticism i get and only from men i mean i must add which is ki mm. yaar dekhne mein maza nahi aata hai so here you go like this is one great way to maza karo that mm. competition itself but but bhai 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 wo wo yaar see wo wo to subjective cheez hai main 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 absolutely yeah, yeah. mujhe pasand nahi aa raha to mujhe nahi pasand aa raha usme matlab koi aadmi ladka khel raha hai uska koi lena dena nahi hai if it's not connecting with me as a viewer Uh, मैंने अपना टाइम दिया है टीवी ऑन किया देखने के लिए और मैंने कहा यार कपिल शर्मा शो छटैक कपिल शर्मा शो पे चले गया हूं मैं यू नो आई एम जस्ट सेइंग नो नो आई एम होपिंग दैट आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट बट आई एम होपिंग द टूर्नामेंट चेंजेस दैट अ लिटिल बिट बिकॉज़ इट्स ऑनेस्टली दे शुड नॉट बी चेजिंग ओल्ड वेला मेन लाइक अस एज देयर ऑडियंस डेफिनेटली नॉट द द ऑडियंस दे नीड टू बी चेजिंग इज 10 टू 20 गर्ल्स और यंग बॉयज um absolutely who, i think boys you look girl, at the makeup of this team right. yeah it. totally if you look at the makeup of this team it's not like a team that's only been built for this tournament um if i think the average age of this team is 23 and mm. if you're saying more and more importance will be given to women's football more and more tournaments will be held uh, your club team is now playing at the asian level um so you're guessing that at least 10 12 14 of this team are forming your core for the next 5 6 years at least i mean that's what absolutely. i'm hoping they would do And no, no, absolutely. That, I completely. There's no better platform than to pick up people from here. Uh, you know, uh, there is, there is, of course, women's football is still battling that misconception. कि यार ये क्या खेल रहे हैं, क्या नहीं हो रहा है. But ये पूरा blame आप उन लोगों पे नहीं डाल सकते जो कह रहे हैं इस चीज को. उनको ऐसा महसूस हो रहा है वो कह रहे हैं. Hundred yeah. percent. It's a circle. Yeah, like it's this this, uh, this conversation we can also have about women. Uh, women बोल रहा हूँ. Indian football as a whole. Like I mean, I'm sure you have friends. I definitely have friends who are like, नहीं यार देखने में मुझे अच्छा नहीं लगता Indian football. and that's my fight with them they is the same thing is the same fight which is like they don't find the game to be fast enough they don't like the broadcast whatever 10000 reasons they'll give you and mm. the whole thing is circular which is if you don't watch then how do people grow and want to play the game itself if people don't play and like improve the game then why will people watch it's like a little circle in and of itself in fact today in the press conference in the india press conference ashalata devi the captain she said something really mm. nice which is essentially tying in with what you're saying 
about young girls and young boys watching where mm. she was asked a question uh, about how whether they think of themselves as role models in this you know i mean this is a big tournament happening for the first time in like i'm going to say two generations right and so do they think of themselves as role models what do you think this will inspire and she said to us we've always thought of ourselves as role models we have this conversation all the time whenever we mm. go back to our villages to our homes and mind you a lot of these girls are from villages all right when they go back they like if we take back equipment we go and like encourage kids to play we go and make sure we do some coaching lessons with whoever whichever girls are playing we try and talk to them if there are if we hear of a girl who wants to play but the parents are not willing we go and talk to the parent and that's and then what she said like the most important thing that she said was this is how this is essential for our future she's like ye hum logon ke future ke liye important hai which is yeah. essentially what i've been talking to and you know this uh, i've been doing a few stories like this on instagram also and now they'll be on the news stick website also on indian footballers or women footballers from the 70s the 80s the 90s and that's what they've constantly been talking about which is that a little more investment a little more investment a little more interest and the game will just grow so hopefully this tournament can do that eh, in a big way and blast all these perceptions out of the water yeah i mean uh, this this would be a step in that direction i mean i would hope ha, ha. it would it would not be the end game but it would definitely drive you in that direction that you want to be in say another 5 6 years kyunki bhai ecosystem aisa hai usko time itna lagta hi hai chahe kuch bhi ho jaye और uh, मेरे हिसाब से वो टीम मैं मैं तो उस टीम पे फोकस कर रहा हूँ आप आई नो यू बिन स्पेंडिंग अलॉट टाइम इन इट और ये यू नो आई जस्ट फील दैट अ इट्स इजियर टू कनेक्ट विद दीज वन एथलीट्स एज अपोज टू विद मेन एथलीट्स सो इफ दे प्ले द वे दे प्ले एंड दे प्ले विद द इंटेंसिटी दैट देव बिन शोइंग ऑफ दिस लास्ट फाइव सिक्स मंथ्स आई सॉ द ब्रजल गेम ऑन यूट्यूब एंड देर वॉज अ इंटेंसिटी टू द गेम there was an intensity ऑफ द बॉल बिकॉज वेन यू आर प्लेइंग विद ब्रजिल यू विल बी ऑफ द बॉल फॉर अ मेजोरिटी ऑफ द गेम um and it wasn't that you were always tracking back tracking back saying ki ab ni tackle maru ab ni tackle maru ab ni tackle maru your in my zone i'm going in for the tackle tackle okay. mara nahi mila koi baat nahi but kuch kuch tackles mile bhi hain so uh, that was great to see and i think i think in that sense if the team plays this kind of positive intensity filled football i don't know there's a word but uh, it's it's full of intensity then you have the possibility of attracting a lot of people uh, to watch your games you might not watch the iran game but if you win the iran game and you win it the correct way believe you me a lot of people are going to tune in for chinese type pay and then of course the china game hamare bhai aa gaye bhai welcome back aap kya booster shot lagwane gaye the um test ho raha tha very latest sweater change man भाई बट अच्छी अच्छी चर्चा हो रही है बिकॉज यू नो ये इट्स अ स्टेपिंग स्टोन इन टू द डायरेक्शन यू वॉन्ट वुमेन स्पोर्ट टू बी एंड द काइंड ऑफ फुटबॉल दीज गर्ल्स आर प्लेइंग द वे दे बिल्ट अप फॉर दिस टूर्नामेंट एंड यू सी द मिक्स इन दिस टीम इट्स नॉट अ मिक्स ऑफ ओनली ओल्ड सीनियर्स हु बिन प्लेइंग इन अ सर्टन वे इट्स अ मिक्स ऑफ यंग एंड न्यू एंड द यंग यू नो इट्स ईजियर टू इन्फ्लुएंस दैम टू प्ले इन अ सर्टन वे ऐसे ऐसे खेलो आप पुरानी चीजें भूल जाओ नए तरीके से खेलना है इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे खेलना है तो एक यू नो एक 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 जुट होके खेलना है पुरानी चीजें शायद सीखी नहीं हां मैं लॉट्स ऑफ आई मीन ऑल ऑल नो इट्स कॉल्ड इट्स कॉल्ड अनलर्निंग अनलर्निंग द पास्ट एंड ओपनिंग योरसेल्फ अप टू न्यू वेज ऑफ मूविंग अहेड अम सो अनलर्निंग द पास्ट जनरली विद 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 ओल्डर पीपल हु हैव बीन डूइंग इट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम इट्स टफर एंड फॉर यंग किड्स हु जस्ट कम इनटू द गेम एंड से अच्छा ऐसे खेलना है मुझे ऐसे पीछे नहीं भागना मेरे को ट्रैक पैक करना है मेरे को जाना है अंदर यू नो देन इट्स इजियर फॉर देम एंड देन पीपल वॉच देम एंड देन कैरी ऑन फ्रॉम दैट या या टोटली आई 100% एग्री मैन सो लाइक जस्ट आई विल विल गेट इनटू बैक इनटू द फुटबॉल ऑफ कोर्स इन लाइक 1 सेकंड बट लाइक बिकॉज़ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द वुमेंस गेम एंड एंड यू गाइस हैव ऑलरेडी टच्ड ऑन सम थिंग्स टू डू विद हाउ द गेम इज परसीव्ड एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट जस्ट फ्रॉम अ uh just from a i suppose a data perspective abhi uh, kal a oxfam ne ek global inequality report uh, zaya ki hai jisme the numbers are a gaye a gaye the numbers are really uh, startling huh? so yeah. among among which uh, it, it talks about how uh, women have lost in the past two years since the pandemic has started 
just in terms of cash money close to 800 billion dollars right and as many as 13 yeah. women million women fewer are in the workforce in any capacity today than were in 2019 right so when we talk about these tournaments being hosted in countries like india we we also talk about how this is to build a future that is more equitable where you know everyone has more opportunity to do a lot lot more and that's why this tournament is so exciting to be happening in the circumstances it's happening we understand that that it's perhaps a disproportionate use of resources etc cetera, etc cetera, to have sport in this time but some things are sometimes sport can be for a larger much uh, i think more sort of cohesive goal hmm. and this is one of those examples and and it comes back to football uh, quite clearly because in 2011 and around that time when india qualified the men's team qualified uh, for the, the same tournament the asian cup it was again after the 30 year period uh, and that generation of men's footballers was doing exactly the same thing that Deva was saying that these uh, women are doing when they go back on uh, leave back to their villages to bring back equipment, bring back ideas, bring back the learning that they have had on the road. Uh, so from multiple perspectives, man, it's a really exciting uh, tournament to be happening and for us to have the chance to watch. Absolutely. Uh, Weber, bhai, uh, game, game, because uh, we want to talk about the Indian team. Um, I think since August 21, they've been in a camp and uh, hmm. camp either in some part of India. Um, they've been traveling abroad um, and they've played tournaments like the one in Brazil. Then they've gone to the UAE and they've gone to a couple of other countries as well. Uh, so they've got good yeah. game time under themselves. Lot Plus games. what they've yeah. really also done is they've got a mix of seniors. Sorry? They were in Sweden as well for a while. Coach yeah, Sweden. Is, uh, so I'm saying there. so they've got a they've yeah. got a mix of, like we said, young and old, uh, from the under 17 camp, from the under 19 camp. They've also been called in. Um, what can we expect from a footballing point of view? What sort of a team is this? How do they play? And uh, yeah, on the ball, off the ball, what can we expect from them? I mean, in my observation, they're a slightly counter-attacking team, which is fair enough. I mean, also you just want to remind everyone that India's most potent attack force is not in this squad, by the way. Bala Devi is that not is... in this team. Yeah. Right. I mean, she is in many ways over the last three years, she is the face of Indian women's football. She has gone and played in Scotland, done a lot of, you know, done a lot of great things for Indian women's football. But uh, because of that, but also not because of that, because of that, if we, you would have become a one person reliant team, now you're not. Now there's a, two, three young girls and uh, you're bringing them all together. So it's a slightly counter attacking team. You were talking about that Brazil goal, I think that game, sorry. So if you remember that goal also, you'll know that it was a brilliant counter attack. In fact, yeah, all cool. the goals they scored in that. Uh, tournament were all counter attacks, and they are a, like they are that sort of team that like to play on the break. They are so much fitter than I have ever seen women footballers in this country. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, it really is. It's really incredible how fit they've become. I mean, I think this is a trick, and again, this is Sadant is going to look up really wildly, but I'm going to say that this is a trick they have learned from the Indian women hockey team. Okay, mm -hmm. which is keep high fit or yeah, and right at that moment, I think. Shada ma'am has come on. So now we can just give her the floor. <laughs> hi, hi, Sharda. Good to see you. Uh, before uh, we, we, we get her in, I have a little bit of a bit of a bit of a this team has had close to 9 to 10 footballing sessions in a week in their camps. Right? Footballing sessions that would differ uh, in fitness, video sessions, diet education, and also the fact that we've been kept kept on reiterating it's a good mix of uh, seniors and juniors. Uh, like I was talking about unlearning from the past, uh, a lot of the unlearning was happening in the first few months. Ki this is not the way to move ahead. This is the way to move ahead. So Deneby and the coach staff, which is the other people with him, have had to do that with the team, saying ki there's a certain mindset that you need to have. Ki matlab ball chale ki, to uska matlab ye nahi ki main bethe main uthu aur main wapis piche ball ke. छोड़ना नहीं है मैंने वहाँ पे उस बात इंटेंसिटी को तो उसपे बहुत ज़्यादा ध्यान दिया है स्पेशली फिटनेस भाई ने थोड़ी चांबीन करी है ऑन द कोच बिकॉज़ दिस कोच द गुड थिंग अबाउट दिस कोच इज़ एंड दैट्स वेरी एक्सपीरियंस कम्स इन 
यू आर एज गुड अ कोचेज यू रियलाइज कि आपके प्लेयर्स का पोटेंशियल क्या है आपके टीम का पोटेंशियल क्या है तो मैं जी फलाना धमकाना कोच हूँ मैं ये जानता हूँ वो जानता हूँ ये जानता हूँ पर उसका फायदा नहीं है अगर मेरे टीम वाले समझेंगे नहीं इतने टाइम में सो ही इज फिलोसफी इज वेरी सिंपल कीप इट वेरी सिंपल फोकस ऑन द फिटनेस फोकस ऑन ऑफ द बॉल एंड लाइक यू सेट काउंटर अटैकिंग टीम दे लाइक काउंटरिंग बट वेन यू प्ले अगेंस्ट इन रान वेन यू प्ले अगेंस्ट द चाइनीज टाइप पे दे विल ऑल्सो गिव यू टाइम इन द बॉल बिकॉज एट एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे देव कम टू इंडिया टू प्ले वर्सेज इंडिया तो तब आप कैसे बॉल रखोगे वो देखने वाला होगा शारदा यू बिन डूइंग सम वर्क ऑन ईरान इज वॉट सिद्धांत वॉज टेलिंग मी वॉट कैन बी एक्सपेक्ट दैट 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 इन अ सेंस दैट लेट मी डू दिस लेट मी डू व्हाट आई हैव गॉट ऑन कोच फर्स्ट बिफोर वी डू द ऑपोजिशन ईरान वन ये मतलब ये तो वो वाला हो गया मैं पढ़ाई करके आया हूं तो मैं बोल के रहूंगा चाहे कुछ एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली आपका क्वेश्चन नहीं है पेपर में सॉरी दैट क्वेश्चन इज नॉट इन द पेपर योर चिट इज यूजलेस क्योंकि ही कीप्स एल्यूडिंग टू इट या ही कीप्स ही कीप्स गिविंग हिंट्स एंड ऑल बट देयर इज अ सेक्शन सॉरी यू टर्न यू टर्न दो भाई दो दो आप लोग कोच साहब के बारे में टाइम well we we were looking for a new coach for the senior team uh, this tournament was happening and uh, things were not looking good in terms of preparations because of the pandemic uh, right so it was quite fortunate that he was with the uh, the team that was preparing for the under 17 world cup which was to be held in 2020 which has not happened yet uh, and and that kind of gives us a sense of the kind of time he has had with uh, uh with, with this generation of players and and in the indian system and how well he understands their capabilities strengths weaknesses all of it and therefore what kind of playing style he might uh, apply or how he might approach it uh so i mean of course i i think the basics uh, we all know by now and if you're watching this you probably know as well but just to cover the points uh he was in 2004 sweden's coach of the year uh, right he's had a long time with sweden's women's national team uh, so experienced at the olympics at the world cup all of that uh, he's taken uh, nigeria to their best finish in the world cup in like 20 years and won them the women's uh, continental championship for the first time ever i think so he's he's widely experienced at the highest level of not uh, and like you guys have rightly pointed out there are two separate sports men's football and women's football right we're talking about women's football and 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 this guy has experienced coaching at the highest level of that sport uh, so uh, the all of the things that uh, we have managed to do i think uh, as a national team to prepare for this tournament many whether it's a camp in sweden or playing in this four nation tournament in brazil all of this comes with his vouching for it that you know i i know how good or whatever where this team is at and so it will add value to you guys also to bring them into the fold uh, otherwise it's not easy for an indian coach to convince brazil and chile and venezuela to play against you uh, in a tournament when they are also preparing for bigger things and blah 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 it like for amiga's last game yeah no less yeah yeah, yeah absolutely Yeah. right so 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 it shows a a, a great uh, kind of planning mind and and a, and a systematic approach to what uh, has to be done when this tournament begins uh, i think uh, rightly you guys of course in these games they played uh, counter attacking football because that's i think what they need to build on the most he has confidence when you play against uh, that, that kind are, of opposition that, that should be said yeah, correct yeah 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 of course and and yeah. but but no in, in any case because even against uh, i think teams like iran 
the chance to score goals or opportunities will come on on counter attacks as well so at least we need to be good enough to capitalize on those opportunities <clears throat> and then if we can build and and penetrate through the middle and do all of uh, that fun stuff of course why not uh, that that will be uh, yeah, yeah the icing on the cake so ne peso so so ha bilkul bilkul so so i think matlab jo bhi dekhne ko mila hai na aur bahut kam aisa dekhne ko milta hai ki consistently over time uh aapko ek approach dikhai pad raha hai in a coaches uh, kind of uh, methodology or whatever a consistency dikhai de raha hai to wo badhiya hai baki fitness wagaira to you guys have pointed out now i think any coach that that's the basic that any coach does uh, so continuity also in terms of sorry the last couple of things uh, that also some of the staff has migrated the support staff so they've also been involved with these players and the system for some time and the players yeah. like i think four players from uh, so the last big tournament was the uh, sap under you know the asian under 19 sorry i think anyway so four of those that team are in uh, this Yeah, yeah. As well. There's two girls from the under-17 squad also in this team. Mm. Right. There's a 16-year-old girl as well. Under-17 squad. Um, in yeah. in the team. Yeah. Shilki. Um, there's an 18-year-old. There are two 19-year-olds. Um, so that's why I said, yeah. I said this. This is not a team just built for the tournament. This is a team that is going to give back to Indian football uh, over the next five, six years. Sir, you have done a little bit of Wikipedia on the coach. So, a little bit of that. At the same time, like what do you say? Like the coaches are not just. <laughs> हम दोनों का ना इंटरनेट बड़ा बकवास चल रहा है वी शुड बी टॉकिंग लेस मैं मैं बस एक बोलना चाहता हूँ कि इनके बारे में ये सुनने को मिला है एंड दस वी एक्सपीरियंस कम्स इन राइट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर प्लेयर्स एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग देयर एनवायरनमेंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ मच इज इनफ बिकॉज समटाइम्स टू मच इन्फॉर्मेशन कैन बी बैड इट कैन बी डेटरमेंटल टू अ टीम सो ही इज वेरी सिंपल इन गिविंग इज मैसेजेस ही इज अपेरेंटली अ गाय हु इज हाउ टू आई सी इट सपोर्ट स्टाफ एट टाइम थिंग्स ही इज टू सॉफ्ट that he's so nice to these girls miss pass bad pass anything goes wrong he's not losing his temper he's always smiling talking nicely to the girls right uh he kabhi kabhi lagta hai ki yaar maybe that uh, fire is not there but he's the kind of guy who doesn't believe in being so outwardly yeah expressive in that sense you know um so uh, and, and it's probably working because uh, he he's getting the team to play a certain style of football uh, that sidhan said and uh, like i think for the 50th time we said intensity has gone up um, but even though we not seen much of the uh, women's game but jo thoda bahut dekha hai of these 5 6 months you can make out there's a difference in the way they are playing yeah, uh, yeah. in the way they approach as a unit uh, sharda aap batao fir ji uh, jhande gaade 20 tarikh ko iran kyunki agar tournament mein unko hara diya to ji uh, rajdhani ban jayegi rolls royce and then hum ja rahe hain world cup ki taraf acha i want to know how much before this was said on iran before i entered the conversation uh, in the shabby no. state but none at all we were all told we were all told sharda ugra will speak about iran so all of us said ki bhai hum rehne dete hain usse na ho pa nahi nahi because i have done full encyclopedia uh, study and come uh, no i am really happy to and, and delighted and looking forward to seeing what the indians play like uh, that they look sharper they look better Uh, but i must where is richard hood when you need him because iran for the last yeah. 15 years has had a women's uh, premier league going on in their country and they have had it uh, it's been running for 15 years they have a player that plays in belgium uh, yasaman farmani i've just written the name down midfielder and uh, so they have but for the last two years the women had not played any football completely the opposite to what was happening with the indians they had played nothing until last may when they got a new coach and they said please chalo aage badho uh, try and qualify and then they had those those two good matches in uh, i think tashkent which is where they qualified and, uh, and they came to play so their story is this essentially out of created out of nothing created out of again out of neglect virtually um mm-hmm. but at the same time a very strong uh, football league uh the the women's sport the team sport that is popular there is futsal they have been asian champions uh, for the for, uh, for two years um and uh, iranian women's football has been stopped then reborn then stopped then reborn so we are now in this phase mind you their women's coach whose name is fantastic maryam uh, iran iranu dost is her name 
the uh, most mm. fantastic name ever she's the daughter of a football player who's now a coach a senior football player who's now a coach so uh, maria mirandus has said that if we are trained properly within 5 years we can get to the women's world cup so as you can see everybody is ready to get to the women's world cup uh, they yeah. are ranked number 17 they had got knocked off the rankings because they didn't play for enough time and this happened twice mm. uh, but the person who is the president at the time is now vice president at afc so we cannot say anything but that's what it is like they are expected to be this kind of a team sort of uh, i watched about 8 minutes of their match against it it, it was on penalty so the jordanians were very upset they were just casting all kinds of evil allegations against the goalkeeper and um, but they just seem to look a very sticky and a very tacky and a very defensive team in that sense like just bodies on the line kind of Uh, uh, kind of uh, play but i think um, in terms of fitness and and sort of that okay then they made 14 requests for teams to come and play against them in the, during their training uh, during their pre uh, uh, asian cup training nobody came they were supposed to go to belgium uh, their that thing got cancelled their their uh, training got cancelled so they came at home I don't know what the, the US it, sanctions. That I have no idea what the reason is. You know, as to why it, but it's very possible it got sanctioned and fourteen teams basically refused them. And they said, "Look, we are a weak team. That's why they didn't come." But I'm sure that our uh, our team will uh, uh, sort of you know play well and everything. And they are thinking straight away about quarterfinal plays. They say, "Okay, okay, we know we are in a tough group and all the rest of it." Mm-hmm. And they are seen as the weakest of the team uh, uh, in that mm-hmm. uh, in that group, no doubt. but i would be very interested to see how they play maybe they'll just be completely outpaced by everybody you know in the sense that the game has moved ahead the women's game has moved ahead of them but their story is fabulous you know you hear uh, one of them is coming has, is coming with a 5 month old baby and her mother <laughs> to watch her yes. see kaam kiya hai bhai kaam kiya hai kaam kiya hai kaam kiya hai i i also like right that you i'm putting you i'm sorry if i'm putting you on the spot but this same question we did at the press conference also today with the indian oh. team so actually oh. gokulam women they had played in iranian side in the afc yeah, you know this this striker was solid top scorer in that yeah shardari i think the the iranian club was called shardari sirjan huh. and uh, so uh, gokulam had lost to them they were lost one huh. so actually i don't know how many of those uh, girls who play for that club have mm-hmm. turned out for the iran team i, th- I think the striker is here the striker all... is here bhai the main main okay. jo striker hai wo top scorer thi sera ko bhi all somebody else i don't know the okay. name i don't know the name sera but i was reading like it somewhere big star striker who has who has top scored in the league for the last five seasons yeah and then i think that's, actually that's you also were talking about this league and it's like really interesting can i just tell you guys something like uh, they gave us a, when the team sheets had come out like each Please separate team sheet. I don't even know the team. Ah, ah. Ah, so I'll 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 share that with you. But when they sent all the subka squad, it was really crazy, man. Because uh, it was really bizarre for me to watch. And Sadan also knows this. That's why he's smiling sneakily because I sent this to him, and probably he also noticed this. But the only country, so they said name of player, number of caps, and club she plays for. And the only country that did not have a single club named for. Uh, any of the girls you know which country that was india see no kyun bhai see this because we don't have no because we don't have where is any... richard hood yeah where is richard hood Nein, exactly aisa kyun unke jo pichle iwl mein khel rahe the so that's not counted or that season is over no that no, i mean we don't have contracts the contracts are gone i mean <laughs> see very very <laughs> telling really And man, it was man, really telling uh, because I was I my immediate my immediate reaction to seeing this India was number one on that list right so you look at it and you're like अरे ये क्या हो रहा है then you go next and the next is Iran and when I looked at Iran I was like wait a minute all of these girls are playing in a league they have clubs like what are we talking about? Yeah, one of them is playing in Amazing. in 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 yeah. uh, Belgium. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. So. I mean, it's like uh, uh, this is a, and they say the reason why they were able to without having any football for for couple a couple of years as a national team is come back and basically pick up where they left off is because they have these contacts with just... you know constant constant competition. By the way, their matches are not broadcast. Never mind broadcast; they're not even filmed. You cannot even film their matches. If you mm-hmm. show on Instagram, you will get uh, taken by intelligence people to say, "What are you doing?" So it's like a crazy, crazy story. Oh my god! It's almost story. like India. Even ours are not shown on TV. Oh, press conference. Ki baat karte press conference? Uh, आज आज कोच साहब की जो प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस आई मैं मैं जी सबसे पहले तो मैं बोलना चाहूंगा ए आई एफ एफ 
आज मैं आपकी वेबसाइट पे गया और मैंने कुछ आर्टिकल्स पढ़े और उसमें कोच साहब का एक प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस था उनके कोर्ट्स थे जो यूजुअल कोर्ट्स आते हैं पर एक कोर्ट बिकॉज शारदा सेट शी मैंशन डिफेंसिव यूनिट एंड ही सेट अ नाइस थिंग सो आई थिंक दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ कोर्स विद वॉट शी से इज दैट ईरान विल बी प्लेइंग अ लो ब्लॉक बाय लो ब्लॉक मीनिंग कि आप ज़्यादा एडवेंचरस नहीं हो आप पीछे बैठे रहोगे एंड मच लाइक वॉट इंडिया डज अगेंस्ट ब्रिजिल और द बिगर टीम यू सीन दैम डू यू विल नॉट बी करेजियस इनफ इन लेटिंग पीपल गो आगे बिकॉज यू आर मोर बोर्ड अबाउट नॉट कंसीडिंग अ गोल सो लो ब्लॉक को तोड़ना फॉर अ काउंटर अटैकिंग टीम लाइक इंडिया वो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग होगा बिकॉज दिस इंडियन टीम देर जनरल फॉर्मेशन अगर आप देखो इज अ फोर टू देर आर टू डिफेंसिव मिड फील्डर्स अहेड ऑफ द टू आपके जो स्टॉपर बैक्स हैं then you have the three and these three are the crux of your attack basically the main three girls of your attack and then you have a striker so it's a 4231 uh, which depending on the situation of the game sometimes shifts to a 433 as well but zyada tar jo aapka attack hoga kyunki un coach sahab ne usme bhi baat boli ki rather than playing long balls we are going to be focusing on playing through the middle and i kind of see some merit in it because uh, you've got someone like that indumati who's playing behind your striker in the middle of that three and you look at the way that girl is playing bhai saab ek alag hi player lagti hai wo yaar jaise hame sunil chhetri dikhta hai na field pe wo alag player lagti hai i i i know bala devi is not here whatever whatever but is team mein se you see her handling of the ball you see the way she puts her body on the ball you see her first touch ki matlab defender uske piche se aa raha hai right se to wo thak yahan pe choti choti cheeze hain phat se le legi ekdam se turn maar di By the way, she was rejected from the team. Ah, huh? she was rejected from the team, and it was becoming almost impossible for her to make a comeback into the team till like two years back. And it's during the peak of the COVID crisis. During the peak of the, she's a she's with Tamil Nadu police. So in the peak of the crisis, there was a very viral video that had gone on of a woman officer stopping people and telling them why to put on the mask and put it on properly. That was, her. That was Indumati. That was her. Oh, superb. Yeah. Superb. So she's but, but, she was doing all of that yeah. during in 2020 by what a what a player bhai oh, main matlab kya kya player lagi mere ko to proper player lagi mere ko yeah, yahan pe player. and uh, intelligent that's the main thing for for the role that she's playing in that hole uh, jo aap khelte ho wahan pe aksar aapko time on the ball bilkul nahi milta um, mm-hmm. aap aate ho to aap pe player hota hai so your decision making uh, what you want to do is so crucial because wahan pe agar aapne ek chakma diya defender ko to game khulti hai puri ki puri क्योंकि आपने एक को चकमा देगा ना आपको गेम पूरी की पूरी खुल गई साइड लेफ्ट राइट जहां से जो भी आ रहा है सो इंदु मती विल बी की विल बी की ऑफ हाउ दिस टीम गोज एट एन अटैक उसके ऊपर से जो आपके फोर हैं जो आपके फोर डिफेंडर्स हैं बिकॉज यू प्लेइंग फोर टू थ्री वन विच मीन विंग्स पे आपके ज्यादा प्लेयर्स है नहीं सो लॉर्ड ऑफ दैट विल बी डन बाई अ फुल बैक जनरली यू सी बोथ फुल बैक्स लेफ्ट फुल बैक राइट फुल बैक बॉम्बिंग फॉरवर्ड इन दिस टीम आई थिंक लॉर्ड ऑफ दैट डिफेंस सॉरी दैट वर्क ऑन द ऑन द विंग्स विल बी डन बाई दलीमा छब्बर हुज प्लेइंग योर राइट फुल बैक Uh, there's a girl called Sanju. I think she's come from the age group teams. She's going to be at the left full back. I don't think they'll put so much emphasis on the left going forward. But because Dalima is really good at set pieces, Dalima is really good at crosses. So a lot of the work going forward will be on the right full uh, flank from Dalima Chhabar. And keeping in mind that when Dalima will go up and you're keeping it as a three-man defence, जो आपके two defensive midfielders होंगे, उनमें से एक will track back, not into the right position, but somewhat between the right and centre, so as to stop a counter. and one of the other two will go up and attack right yeah. so it's not like ki matlab hum pure ke pure piche reh rahe hain ya pure ke pure aage ja rahe hain so that shows there's good cohesion in this team bhai and i i feel uh, it'll be interesting to watch um if they can play the way they are um if they can play because the way they played versus brazil uh, or the way they played in that south american tourney the one thing that came to me beyond tactics or anything it seemed like because you compare it to the men's team and when they play a higher ranked opposition there was a distinct lack of fear and when you have fear in sport uh, you might be the most able technical player you generally do not do the things you are really good at aap you know aap jhijakte ho aap jhijakte ho pair dalne mein aap jhijakte ho tackle marne mein aap jhijakte ho ball rakhne mein aap jhijakte ho ki mere paas hai space jaane ke liye lekin aap tab bhi nahi jaate aap pehle hi pass dhoondte ho to ye women's team of the past hota tha lekin ab thoda sa isme you know farak pada hai um to maza aayega ha huh? any bhai वो पहला गेम अगर ईरान पूरी की पूरी पीछे बैठी आपने ईरान को कैसे खोला कैसे आप खोलेंगे ईरान आप पे चढ़ी और प्रेशर डाला तो भाई उल्टा ही गेम हो जाएगा पूरा का पूरा
टोक्यो दे वर जस्ट सो इंस्पायर्ड बाई इट they said you know we we said this is what how we have to play when we play in the asian cup this is going to be a, a, our biggest event of our lives this is how we should play we were just so taken up we were just wonder struck and and so inspired and 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 said bhai aisa khelna chahiye you know this is how you should say, uh, you should you should be able to play that whatever it is sab chhod the ground ke upar that kind of a that kind of a thing so when you had mentioned the thing about the uh, fitness levels and the and and and, and the sort of uh, uh, what you're talking the about a lack shift. of fear the yeah. attitude shift lack of fear so you may make technical mistakes which is what the indians in, in the hockey they conceded goals not on uh, you know because they ran out of gas they conceded goals because of technical mistakes they were making formational mistakes Absolutely. whatever it was but not that not 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 the physical side so that's yeah. what the that's what the 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 women's hockey the women's football team were really inspired by so it, it would be fun to see them it would be fun to see I, them and uh, uh, to see them play and if i can just draw like a parallel tactically also i would say that the indian women's hockey team also played a very serious counter attacking let's soak up the pressure and we'll hit them and we'll get goals through pcs and drag flicks that sort of game yeah and yeah. i'm going to i'm going to actually assume that that's exactly what they have in plan for chinese taipei and china also can't say that's the plan for iran and again no, no like I, I, feel, a, i feel i feel i feel the compar- comparison doesn't hold why because they are way more evolved uh, they come from a no, way no, more evolved sure, setup sure. of success and playing at the highest level against uh, higher ranked teams better teams sure, sure, absolutely like i mean there is like full credit yeah, to be given team. yeah yeah when compared to the yeah. football team Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the amount of exposure they get, the amount of games that. they yeah, played. Yeah, yeah, correct. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, they everyone don't like, have a league, by the way. And they to be fair, like everyone flipped out over the fact that they did really well at the Olympics. But in the World Cup prior, they had also reached the quarterfinals. It was the first time that they had done that, and they lost to Ireland, who eventually yeah. were in the finals. So this is yeah. not a team that was like this was and not a one-off. And literally last minute, maybe something missed out or some penalties or something. Exactly. 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 <laughs> no, I, no, I was just saying. I was just saying, you know, if if they if they do approach the opening game from that uh, that clear cut tactical perspective that you guys outlined, he one side yeah. shuts shop and the other side tries to break them down. Then by the 60th hmm. minute, 70th minute or so, uh, a based on fitness levels, if one team has had a fairly decent time exposure wise, and and we have identified India as having uh, physically trained very well. and the other has had not much chance to do the same so n- not much game time at all uh, at at this level definitely not uh, all of those things will come into play and also if it's nil nil at that stage or one one at that stage both coaches will then want to uh, maximize what they can get out of it so that tournament football angle will also come into it yeah bye bye so then we we'll see the game open up anyway भाई बट वो ना पहला गेम मैं तो आप इंडियन टीम की भी बात करो आदत नहीं है ना इस टूर्नामेंट पे खेलने की इस लेवल पे खेलने की गोकुलम केरला के विमेन्स फुटबॉल प्रोजेक्ट को बिकॉज उनकी वजह से काफी सारे ये जो नेशनल टीम प्लेयर्स हैं हमारे वो एक साथ एक अगेन कोहिशिव अप्रोच के साथ और हाई लेवल पे कॉम्पिटिशन खेल चुके हैं तो जो जो आप इंदुमती का जो डेवलपमेंट कह रहे हो ना उनको लाइक इंदुमती समन वर सीन इन पर्सन आल्सो तो आई थिंक फ्रॉम 2000 मे बी 17 18 ऑन मे बी 18 19 डेफिनेटली 
Uh, you saw so when she probably has, she was playing for Setu, right? Like when they won. Setu, yeah. When Setu, when Setu won, won the league, league right? Yeah, that. Yeah, that like, year as well. Right, yeah. Right. So, she, so, and then a lot of those Setu uh, players who were, uh, I think, not some. Several of them were like some who came from on loan from Nepal police and uh, different police forces and stuff like that. But those who were not, some of them, many of them moved to Gokulam after that. uh because gokulam is now also playing asian level club competition right mm-hmm. so so they have foreign players there as well uh, like a really they're really strong striker and and defensive uh, also players who who are adding a lot of value i think so so because of these things happening side by side although it's on the down low uh, a, a lot of uh, kind of um, game time wise hmm. they are in some cases over the last 6 months i think better off than many of our uh, senior men's team players would be comparatively hmm. which comes to the you know point that when you are preparing for a um, continental level tournament like this um that from an indian perspective given the limitations you have in your setup in your structure that this is the best way forward ki aap wo 5 6 mahine 8 mahine team ko ek sath rakho aap duniya ki sair karo khelo idhar udhar kyunki agar aap structure mein wapas jaoge to fir player khoge wo unke wo you know you won't be able to optimize the performance uh, make them reach that peak that you'd want a player to peak uh, during the tournament and so most of them are side by side yaar yeah. 12 saal mein i think there's enough room in the calendar for all of these things to happen side by side to have some kind of structure as well as और दे दो अगर आपने देने what considering also ah, the matlab jo jo bhi hai i'm just saying i think this is the only approach right now from an indian team uh, where we are Not, and yeah. again solid parallel with hockey uh, hockey bhi to yahi karta hai solid parallel with hockey bilkul solid parallel with hockey they just take a camp 60 people camp 50 member camp usme se trim karke team banao yeah but i i don't know i i find that so uh, detrimental in a way to the larger Correct. Uh, agreed to the sustainability of the sport of, itself of sport is supposed to, yeah you're not really helping you're just picking these people out of academies and making them into the and put, sticking them into camp you know because it's a simpler thing to do than organizing calendars than organizing an annual uh, uh, season uh, organizing think, annual structured uh, play but uh, I think there's a basically the thought process has to be whether you want this whether you want football to be a career whether you want to give these girls boys whoever an opportunity to make this sport a career or you just want to give them the opportunity to play it at the highest level do whatever well at the correct. highest level correct, and correct, then please aap log chale jaiye kuch aur dekh lijiye aap correct correct like that's all like even when you say hockey there Same, but same, given same. given by we are given by we are uh, using a tournament like this and not using it as a springboard um to get into the hearts and minds of a lot of people who still disregard it or uh, don't regard it at all um would be a crime to then to say to no, no, send no, india into a tournament to send to actually to man, not send india really to the really highest really potential into a tournament like this um would would be a crime in my in my opinion He no, asked you try like, whatever is the I'm, best way to get the best out of these girls at a ninety percent, a hundred percent level. Once the tournament I'm, starts on the twentieth, I think we can all agree that it's the best approach they have taken in under the circumstances to create this team yeah. for this tournament in this specific time. But the important thing is that if this is the approach for the next five years, then we are in deep trouble. Okay, because it's basically ah. then you are just doing tournament to tournament. What we want is to use this, the word that you use, springboard, which is like you use this as an opportunity. to build a solid structure after this you know give these like inspire girls to come and play football create opportunities for them give them clubs give them game time just give them a lot of more exposure yeah like i'm say i'm right now in jharkhand there's a girl from jharkhand in the team there were five girls from jharkhand in the under 17 team there i mean we can just confidently say that jharkhand football has is producing a lot of women footballers but there is no league here for women's football 
Jharkhand's national senior national team finished like second last in their group at the national so there is i mean it's essentially these girls were taken into camp put into camp shifted camps and that's all so that doesn't help the growth of the game itself if you just find talent and then khatam hmm. ho jata and because there is so much talent you will always hit talent you always know? hit talent uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. where is this camp 1.2 million funda is correct the camp i said keep take from 1.2 billion people bring it down to whatever number you come to you know like minus minus, yeah, minus know. whatever but uh, this is a completely side track uh, to what uh, to what uh, we are discussing here but i really feel strongly about this because this kind of camp approach you can take in a country that doesn't have a mass uh, number of players to compete you know so let's Good. talk about the other women's for one and a half second the other women's team that is there national women's team that is uh, is the women's cricket team that is there they don't want to have league for them also there's any talent nahi hai players nahi hai yeah. hai players yaar what are you saying nahi hai and, <laughs> and so player, somebody bhai, did a calculation player. and exactly and said like was there are 800 women's players from whom you can uh, come out with a league that are playing or the number that they came to they did a proper so calculation. Say, like, I, I will give the football ecosystem this much credit that they don't say in my experience whichever owners club owners have spoken to about a women's team they've never said that talent nahi hai players nahi hai they always say competition nahi hai that's what they say they say ki bhai khel matlab kuch khelne ko hi nahi milta hai team rakhe ha ha you know that everyone says across all sports uh, hmm. any sport you take huh? they say uh, that we can sai people say boss we will pre- we will coach and train for in our centers but aap event court karayega uske baad kya karenge exactly um guys so, guys anything I mean, yeah, anything, no. uh, anything we want to add more on the team uh, because end mein then we'll just talk about you know the uh, the uh, how do i put it the after effect of having a tournament like this in terms of infrastructure we've been talking about right ki uh, क्या होता है फायदा क्या होता है तो आपके पास यू हैव थ्री सॉलिड स्टेडियम्स सो उसमें ज्यादा काम नहीं करना पड़ा लेकिन काम किया इन टर्म्स ऑफ ब्रिंग इट बैक टू शेप यू गॉट प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग पिचेज नाउ एंड देर सेंटर ऑफ एक्सलेंस विच वॉज जस्ट इनग्रेटेड डे ओ टू बैक इन खारगर या देर फोर सॉलिड ट्रेनिंग पिचेज ओवर थ्री नेचुरल वन आर्टिफिशियल ग्रास देन यू गॉट अदर प्लेसेज विच इज गॉट ट्रेनिंग पिचेज इज वेल um there's a training pitch for referees as well to do you know they're running running and everything get ready over there um so that uh, how you use that after the tournament um will be important you know how you use that facility uh, to what sort of the public do you open that facility to uh, only professional teams do you open it to amateurs um do you open it to clubs do you give it to them at a subsidized rate to use those facilities uh, that will then have an effect on your ecosystem going effect. forward Absolutely. before the next tournament Uh, क्योंकि जब फील्ड नहीं होंगे भाई जूते पहनने का मौका ही नहीं मिलेगा और अगर जूम पे ही हम टिप 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 करते ही रहेंगे तो कौन सा हम खेलेंगे भाई हम तो बस वो पीएस खेलते रहेंगे ना बैठ के वहां पे जिंदगी भर तो आप झारखंड की बात कर रहे हो झारखंड के बाद क्योंकि वहां पे सिस्टम नहीं होगा लेकिन बच्चों में इतना टैलेंट है बिकॉज जिस जो सोसाइटी में रहते हैं द वे दे मूव अराउंड इट्स सो डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आर सिटी केड्स दैट इवेंचुअली वेन दे गेट ऑन टू अ फील्ड दे नेचुरली टेक टू स्पोर्ट um Absolutely. if you need 10 attributes for sport they have five or six of those attributes that come naturally to them fir game sense aata hai someone like a denevi comes in and tells them ki itna bhag gaya can i can i do one can i pull a siddhant can i pull a siddhant move here then arjun can i pull a siddhant move and then say Please, then why are we staging these why are we staging these events in bombay and pune and delhi yeah? why not stage it in ranchi बोकारो हजारीबाग आइए यहाँ पर करवाइए सर क्योंकि covid है this was eventually supposed to be a multi state tournament um then it got True. pulled off courtesy of the pandemic and then the decision was taken which is uh, the state which can give us three stadiums no, I mean, within close vicinity close to each other and will get yeah, will so get maximum government tournament. backing government backing and in that uh, you can't point a finger at the shiv no, 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 even in even in a multi state tournament i don't think jharkhand would have featured at all like i don't think they would have it wanted to renovate the birsa munda stadium ka football pitch and say ki yahan par khelwayenge hum log logon ko nahi aisa nahi socha hoga kolkata mein kar laate and but but bhai but bhai fir aap itna bada itna bada continental tournament kar rahe ho then you have to think about hotels uh, for the teams that are coming uh, ranchi is good hotels yeah, and good. i mean place like ranchi you, you can do yeah, all those things quite easily yeah good hotels then yeah jab shake pur is well and all but the but anyway, the point is have you're right about like nah. i mean and this is this i'm just throwing a bone into the soup which is hmm. ki bhai jab talent yahan se aa raha hai ab wahan par agar karenge to aur bhi maza aata hai kabhi kabhi 
क्योंकि जैसे कि मेरा पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस है जब एच करवाया था पहला सीजन जब हॉकी इंडिया लीग का हुआ था आई रिमेम्बर दर विज लेसली who also i think has been on this show a couple of times but all of you all know lesly lesly and me had gone to ranchi and uh, i remember we went to watch the finals in ranchi and chhota sa stadium hai 3000 log aate hain sirf stadium bhar gaya tha uske jo pass mein houses the wahan par jo ground floor mein ladka 10 rupaye le raha tha apne chhat pe dikhane ke liye and those terraces were packed to watch hockey in ranchi so there is evidently interest there is obviously talent we just don't have infrastructure and i'm sure like i mean that's a huge problem in any case so yeah i'm sorry just i wanted to throw this into the mix i was no, no, it's, it's, it's a valid point man it's because we are watching what is like orissa is doing we must also do hmm. sorry 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 siddhant i said hopefully in competition ranchi will do what orissa is trying to do so bhaiya let us try this look at this orissa they getting such good mileage with sports hamare paas utne paise nahi hai hamare paas i love how i'm i've gone i'm representing the state of jharkhand ha bas bhai dikha do apna jhanda sorry siddhant yaar saying nahi hamare paas odisha jaise paise nahi hai we don't have that kind of money jharkhand does odisha ke paas paise the ka pehle se aaye na government ke paas ha अच्छा we will be coming post match after every india game there are three scheduled india games uske baad wo quarter final mein pahunchte hain touch wood to fir maza aa jayega to fir tab bhi karenge lekin teen muqablon ke baad to post show karne aayenge zarur to 7:30 ke muqable hain matlab 9:30 tak khatam honge jaise hi final whistle bajegi hum aa jayenge ji hamara chitta khol denge yahan pe 420 grams ka aur charcha karenge us muqable ke bare mein aur un shows pe renedi singh bhi honge hamare sath रिचर्ड हुड भी होंगे हमारे साथ एंड होपफुली वैभव रघुनंदन स्टेडियम में होंगे तो वहाँ का वातावरण और हाल के बारे में हमें बता सकते हैं तो और भी मजा आएगा और कुछ मेरे भाई एनी I don't even know if I'm on this uh, stream at all man if you guys can hear me or see me at all I'm not sure there is child you are you are you are you are just just give us uh, because you've hardly spoken <laughs> Because your internet has spoken more than you, um, can you just tell us something? Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Now that I'm really excited, man, for the games to begin. I'm glad to have had this conversation also because, like, like going back to what Vevo said in the beginning about the press conference, uh, he brought up Asha Lata saying that you know this is very important for our future. I I, I cannot concur more. It is. and part of the important thing of, for the future is of course to have that conversation as a uh, football conversation but also as like so that some of these stories that are that lead up to f- football being where it is or also get a chance to get some mention in our in the news cycle etc etc uh, so yeah. i hope both those things happen and maza to aane hi wala hai baki to and i hope like they like keep in mind uh, that like not to get easy on the protocols if after week 1 there are no positive uh, tests and all everyone tends to get a bit bhai wo wo, wo <laughs> apparently this this bubble is a very tight bubble ha ha nahi everyone is in a bubble it's an airspace everyone is in a bubble aisa nahi hai ki driver ya jo ground ko dekh raha hai wo nahi sab bubble mein hai they are all in their various zones uh, everyone will be tested every 72 hours testing hogi उसके आगे प्रोटोकॉल मैंने पता करने की कोशिश करी कि अगर कोई पॉजिटिव होगा तो फिर प्रोटोकॉल क्या होगा वहाँ पे साइलेंस आया मेरे को कुछ बताया नहीं क्या क्योंकि भाई देखो जब शेट विल हिट द रूफ तब आप पहले नहीं बताना चाहते ना कि हम ऐसे करेंगे वैसे करेंगे तो यू आर गिविंग योर सेल्फ लीवे एंड दैट मच रूम टू मनूवर हाउ यू हैव टू गो अबाउट इट बट ये ए का ऑर्गेनाइज बबल है एंड एवरी वन एनी वन हुज इन्वॉल्व इन दॉर्नमेंट वेब इज गोइंग एज पार्ट ऑफ द मीडिया दैन वेब इज हैविंग नो इंटरेक्शन विद प्लेयर्स टीम्स he is in one area of the stadium he siphoned off over there only and the whatever interaction box. he will have is virtual right all your i know your uh, only the press box and if i want to attend a game then i have to take an rtpcr from a registered center by the afc 72 hours prior 
a negative test hmm. rtpcr and i'll get matlab theek hai busy days ahead for your nose um we wish you all the best no also in terms of <laughs> what happens next i think because there's so much uh, involvement of the state government a lot of the protocols to be followed if there is an outbreak uh, will I, be determined police, by they'll have some BNC, kind of committee set up um, collector uh, yeah. uh, disaster management uh, these are some of the people who are all on board for this tournament yeah. um hospitals i have to be na uh, yeah so yeah so they're all on board for this the only way it can function. because i i think i think it's it would be foolish to ignore the situation you're in ki ji humne taiyari kar di hai ab koi hawa nahi aane wali hai hamari bubble ke andar क्योंकि साइड बाय साइड गोवा में चल रहा है वहां हवा नहीं आई है वहां फूटा है पबल बहुत बुरी तरह तो यू नो इम्पोर्टेंट आई आई थिंक दे वुड ऑब्वियसली हैव अ प्लान इफ समवन टेस्ट पॉजिटिव हाउ डू यू गो अबाउट इट आइसोलेशन होगा देर बी आइसोलेशन रूम्स इन द स्टेडियम इज वेल सो लेट्स वी होप इट डजन रीच टू दैट पॉइंट बट अगर पहुंचे दिन होपफुली दे कैन टेक ड्यू कोर्स एंड करेक्ट कोर्स करेक्शन हो जाएगी एंड टॉर्नमेंट गोज ऑन विदाउट गेटिंग अफेक्टेड ठीक है जी Um, शारदा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस जी आपने ईरान uh, के बारे में हमें बताया एंड दैट वाज नाइस मजा आ गया थोड़ी अब ऐसा लग रहा है कि अब होलसम यहाँ पे प्रीव्यू हुआ है वैभव थैंक्स अगेन यू कैन कॉल आउट द पर्सन हुआ वाज हाइडिंग इन दैट अलमारी ऑफ योर्स बिहाइंड यू दैट द शो इज गेटिंग ओवर अब बुला लो एंड एनी भाई आपके आपके ना चाहने वाले बहुत हैं भाई मैं आपको बताऊँ बहुत ज़्यादा प्यार करते हैं आपके साथ लोग इस चैट पे जब आपका इंटरनेट पहली बार ही गया ना तो एक बंदे ने लिखा कैपिटलिस्ट इंटरनेट एंड पीयूष मिश्रा से पीयूष मिश्रा लिख रहा है कि अब्दुल कादर से भाई लेट मत करना मैच डेज के दिन so we have a <laughs> lovely producer his name is uh, abhinav uh, so abhinav's duty is to make sure that we go live as soon as the final whistle is blown and hopefully we will do that and uh, piyush mishra has written for any any bhai integrate internet upgrade karwa lo before the next show please kyunki uh, people really love you in your opinion bhai to aap zara ye jhajak jhajak ke mat aana show pe full form mein aana aur taiyar rehna ठीक है जी दैट्स इट फ्रॉम आर शो नाउ एंड वील जॉइन यू नाउ ऑन द ट्वेंटी आफ्टर इंडिया गेम विद रान एज सोन इज द फाइनल मिसल इज लोन यू हैव टू कम जॉइन आस ऑन फोर ट्वेंटी ग्राम्स विल बी जॉइन बाय द फोर पीपल ऑन योर स्क्रीन राइट नाउ विल ऑल्सो बी जॉइन बाय फॉर्म इंडिया कैप्टन रेनडी सिंह एंड ऑल्सो समन हु फॉर्म अ हेड कोच ऑफ बेंगलुरु यूनाइटेड एंड अ मैन हु स्पेंड ऑल इस टाइम इन द फील्ड कोच एजुकेशन कोच प्लेयर्स एवरी थिंग रिजर्ड हुड विल बी विद ऑन द पैनल एज वेन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग गुड बाय